Okay, welcome back, guys, to another video from CX Sigma Tutor. So, in this video, we'll be looking at the New York State Regents Common Core Algebra 1, August 2019 past paper. And we'll be looking at questions 25, 26, and 27. All right, so three questions in this video. Question 25, 26, and 27 from the New York State Common Core Regions Algebra 1 past paper, August 2019 past paper. All right, so question 25. If g of x is equal to negative 4x squared minus 3x plus 2, determine g of negative 2. All right, so g of negative 2. Basically, we are substituting negative 2 for x in this um, function here. So anywhere there's an x here, um, we, will, we will replace it with um, x equal to negative 2. Okay? So, we have negative 4 multiplied by negative 2 squared. So, it replaces x here with negative 2. All right, minus 3 times negative 2. This is 3x. That becomes 3 times negative 2 because x is negative 2 um, plus 2. All right. So we have negative 4 and then negative 2 squared. That's going to give us 4. Right? And negative 3 multiplied by negative 2 is positive 6. And then plus 2. All right. So negative 4 multiplied by 4, that's give us negative 16 plus 6 plus 2. All right. So negative 16 plus 6, that's going to give us negative 10 plus 2. That gives us negative 8 as your answer. All right. So the answer for question 25 is negative 8. All right. So let's move on to question 26. It said a student is in the process of um, solving an equation. The original equation and the first step are shown below. So this is the original equation here. 3a plus 6 is equal to 2 minus 5a plus 7. And this is step 1 here. So 3a plus 6, that remains the same, is equal to 2 plus 7 minus 5a. All right. So which property did the, the student use for the first step? And explain why this property is correct. All right, so I'm looking at this here. You can see this side and this side is the same. So we're going to look at the right-hand side here. So the original is 2 minus 5a plus 7. And here he has 2 plus 7 minus 5a. So he put a plus 7 there, all right, and the minus 5a. So this is a commutative property commutative property, all right? Because, of course, if you have 2 plus 7, that's the same thing as 7 plus 2. And the order is not important here as it relates to um, this property, all right? So, so to, to, to answer the question, we could say that um, it's a commutative property. Commu commutative property all right and they wanted to give a reason why this property is correct I could say that okay then the property is correct because um, 2 plus 7 is the same thing as um, 7 plus 2 it could use any other numbers or letters it could say B plus C is the same thing as C plus B all right so um, this property is correct uh, because because um, you know two plus seven is the same thing as seven plus two. I could say or um, b plus k is the same thing as k plus b. That's a commutative property, all right? So um, question 26 is this answer here, all right? All right? Let's move on to question 27. The 
So the other set of axes below graph the line whose equation is 2y equal to negative 3x minus 2. All right, so the first thing I will do here is to change this equation here to y equal to mx plus c, all right? Or plus b, doesn't matter what letter you use there. This, this, this just represents the y-intercept, all right? So, and the m represents the slope. So we can solve for y here. So if you divide both sides by two, take the equation two y is equal to negative three x minus two, divide both sides by two, which means that we're gonna divide both terms. Sorry, we're gonna divide each term by two. All right, so we have y is equal to negative three over two x minus one, all right? Because negative two divided by two gives me negative one. So my slope here, is negative three over two, and my y-intercept is negative one, all right? So, um, the other thing you can do to, as well, uh, you could, uh, so, so for example, I could easily draw this by simple identifying the y-intercept, which is negative um, one, and then read off my slope, all right? So for example, We know that um, the y-intercept is going to be at negative 1, all right? And my slope is negative 3, 2, all right? So my slope will go down from left to right. It will go down like this, all right? So, so from this point here, from the y-intercept, I can go, for example, um, a rise of 3, all right? 1, 2, 3, and... Because it's going down, I'm going to go two to the left. One, two. All right? So now I can draw my line like this. Okay? Or what you could do instead, so that's one way to, to draw the line. Uh, you could just um, use a table of values here. Right? It's a table of values. All right? So for example, or what they call a T table. So, so this is your x column and this is your equation here y equal to negative three over two um x minus one and you can just choose some values for x uh, remember this is a line so it can take on any value um it can you know x can be all real numbers all right so for example let's say that x is zero and that's going to give us if we substitute x is zero here it's going to give us um, negative 1 for y, all right? So our first point here is 0, negative 1. Let's say we choose the point x equal to 2. When, when x is 2, all right, if we substitute 2 into this equation here, you have negative 3 over 2 multiplied by 2 minus 1, all right? So we have negative 2 minus, sorry, negative 3 minus 1 gives us negative 4. So another point that we could use here is 2, negative 4. And let's choose one more point that is on the, the left-hand side of the, um, the x-axis. So for example, let's choose negative two for x. So we substitute negative two here, all right? So that will give us um, positive three minus one that's gonna give us positive two. So our next point we could use is negative two comma two, all right? So we can plot these three points here, for example, um, x is 0, y is negative 1. This is right here. x is 2, y is negative 4. x is 2, y is negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right. This is um, negative 4 and this is 2. Right. And the next point is x is negative 2 and y is 2. So right here. All right, so we can draw a line. We can simply draw a line through these three points here. Uh, of course, your line will look uh, much better than mine because you can use a straight edge or a ruler to draw your line. So that's that's the point here. All right? um, you can use a table of values, or you can use you can um, use a slope and the y-intercept. So start from the y-intercept, for example, and you read off your slope. So you have a rise of three, one, two, three, and a run of two, one, two. And because the line is going down, that's the reason why I'm 
I'm going to the, the left for my run, all right? So that's it. That's it from this video for question um, 27, all right? Um, please remember to like, share, subscribe to the video, and also um, consider clicking the notification button so that you can be notified of future videos, all right? Thanks for watching.